Surprising news out of Van Wayne Trace this week, where football coach Bill Speller announces he'll resign at the end of the football season. Speller's been dealing with health issues this season. Assistant coach Mike Spees at the helm tonight at Edgerton, and Wayne Trace gets the win 34-26. Time now for the Leifeld Welding Top 5 Plays of the Week with Austin Scott. The Minster Wildcats help us start the countdown to the top five plays from a rainy week six. Jacob Youngpeter back to pass for DSJ, and it's Jacob Deuce coming up big for the Wildcats as he brings down the over-the-shoulder interception. Play number four takes us to the second half kickoff between Van Wert and Elida. Van Wert's Jacoby Kelly fields the kick on a bounce, and watch him go. Great blocking ahead of him, and he's got one man to beat. Down the near sideline, it's a foot race to the end zone, and Kelly dives for the pylon. Touchdown, Cougars. There's still more to come from this game, though. The Spencerville Bearcats are known for their ground and pound mentality, but they go to the air for this week's third play. Quarterback Mason Nurse back to pass, and he looks deep to Damian Corso. He reels it in and does the rest for the touchdown. Nurse completes just three passes on the night, all for touchdowns. Back to Elida at number two. Logan Alexander goes down hard on this quarterback keeper. He's in a lot of pain. He gets help off the field and sits out the rest of the drive. Fourth quarter now, and the senior returns to the field. He takes the draw play into the end zone and scores the game-winning touchdown for the Bulldogs. The Corey Rawson fighting Hornets and quarterback Mason Warnemont get the number one spot this week. Warnemont running the read option to an exquisite level. He runs to the near sideline. He won't be caught. A 29-yard scamper, one of his six rushing touchdowns on the night to go along with 317 yards on the ground. The Fighting Hornets swarm and sting Arcadia for a 51-36 victory. The playoff buzz is starting to pick up as we only have three more Friday nights before the postseason begins. Check back next week as Leifeld Welding helps us count down the top five plays from week seven. 